ladies in this video I want to go ahead and share with you my October empties so the first product is going to be the caress the Tahitian renewal this is my absolute favorite it's been in my shower for so many years I've already repurchased it next up is going to be the L'Occitane the almond now this is the big old jumbo mumbo the shower oil I love this I already ordered my my little bundle that QVC does every year so I've already got a backup for this one. This is the Jesse Marin the Argon Milk. Um, I have used this for years. If it comes in a kit I do like it um, but for me to just go and purchase it on its own no I won't do that. But this next product is it's my favorite. It, I am in love with this product. I'm already on my second bottle of it. This is the Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Potency Power, uh, Power Serum. This is your vitamin C, 50 times more powerful than traditional vitamin C, helps improve the look of fine lines, wrinkles, firmness, uneven skin tone, texture, and brightness. And I can tell you that like the sun damage that I have got, there's one that's been up here for a long time if you go back and look at some of my old videos. I mean, this right here has really lightened up quite a bit. And then there's one over here on the side of my face that is also lightened up. I mean, it's just like, you know, whenever I don't have any makeup on, my skin does look brighter. As far as like firmness, I can't really say anything about that. I mean, you know, but um, what else does it say in here? The wrinkles, can't really say anything about that either. All right, I did finish up the Skin Medica, the Retin All Complex. This is the 1.0. I did like this. Um, however, I mean, I used the 0.1% in the Retin-A, so I think that my skin kind of was like, ha, 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 funny, but not doing anything. So I probably won't repurchase that one again. Um, let's see here. This one right here is the Milani Lip Scrub. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. Um, yes, I've already got one already open, and I think I just got a backup, actually. Let's go into another lip, lip product. This is uh, Laneige. I really did like this. However, um, the one that I'm liking right now as far as like, you know, on my lips at night is the Sarah Hap Lip Slip. I love that one. It actually does. I mean, in the morning, um, there's very few products that I have really worn during the night that are actually on my lips, you know, next thing in the morning or, you know, I can just kind of feel that, you know, that it's done something. Sarah Hap Lip Slip. I love that one. Let's go at this uh, Tula. Now this was really kind of surprising to me. This is the Probiotic Skin Care and this one was the Multi-Spectrum uh, Eye, Renewal, Eye Renewal Serum. I got this in a kit and I want to say that I, I mean, I got like maybe a month's use out of it. I don't know. I mean, it's not something that I would purchase, but anyway, I don't know if I just got gypped, you know, or I don't know. But anyway, I didn't really care for it to be honest with you. Oh, okay. This is a um, a deluxe sample size of this. It's called the Shiseido Ibuku. It says it's a gentle cleanser. I tried this and like it says, no, burn. My eyes were on fire. I have no idea. And I was like, well, maybe you just, I don't know. But anyway, I tried it again. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I finished off the Kate Somerville. This is the uh, Wrinkle Warrior. I did like this one. This is the one that's got the hyaluronic acid in it. Now, I love a hyaluronic acid. I do. But I like one that has got a nice slip to it, you know, that's not like a gel. It's not like a water base or it's not, I don't know. But this one, it's got that really nice, like that dimethicone slip to it. It is nice. I do love this. However, I've got something else that I've opened up and I'm using, but this, this is a nice one. And it, oh, I love this so much. This is the City Beauty City Lips. I finished, I am going to be completely honest here with you all. This is the first time, the first time in 54, however many years I've been wearing lip gloss, lipstick, whatever. It's the first time I've ever finished a full thing of lip gloss. I'm so proud of myself. But you know what? I mean, it was so easy for me to use this because I loved it. Every single night, every single morning, I mean, I did not wear this like 
overnight. But what I do is, um, whenever I'm doing my skincare stuff, I'll go ahead and put this on my lips. Go watch a little TV, you know, and just kind of enjoy and hang out. And then, you know, I have my little treat before I go to bed. And by then, you know, I've usually licked it off or, you know, wiped it off or something. But this this is my favorite. And I've already got a backup in there and using it. And I've got another one right here that I use all the time. So anyway, yes, my favorite. City Beauty City Lips. I love this. Oh, I hated seeing this one go. This is my Guerlain Meteorites. This is the Baby Glow. This has got an SPF of 25 in it. I love this. If you love that Meteorites, that Guerlain Meteorites scent to it, this is, I mean, I love. It smells just like it. I love it. Baby Glow. But for me, I like something with a little bit more of an SPF in it. This now, it had just a little bit of that tint to it. And it does leave just a beautiful little glow to your skin. But, I mean, there's really not much coverage to it. Y'all, yes. I am so proud of myself because I finished off. This is the Giorgio Armani, the silk powder or whatever. And I polished it off. I finished it. I mean, there's just a tiny little bit left in there. But I have just gotten on this thing where I'm just bound to term. And I've got, you know, just some things that have just kind of been, you know, that I bought, purchased a while ago. I've got them sitting up front and center right now in this little makeup caddy thing that I got. You know what I mean? I've got all these drawers behind, beside me. I've got all those drawers over there. There's stuff down there. There's stuff over there. It's, it's everywhere. So I was like, girl, you got to stop this. You got to start, you know... Stuff's coming in, but nothing's going out. So anyway, I went ahead and I polished this off, and I'm I'm just so proud of myself. Okay, this is the Dior Skin Nude Air. This is the Glow Powder, and I had this one right here sitting up front and center for a long time, and I was really, I mean, I had the best intentions on finishing it off and being done with it, but you know what? It's starting to oxidize on me or just getting really orangey whenever I put them on me and then plus the little thing broke out so I mean, there's just so many other you know glowy bronzer powders out there that I like a little bit better so this right here is the it ombre radiance this is a good one I love this one never ever ever fails me love it if you've been with me you know that I don't like I I do not like it when I get in a situation like this especially when it was the only, it's the, it's the only product that I've ever used from this line. It is. It's the only one, and it is by Kula. And this one is the Sunless Tan Dry Oil. Look how much is left in here. I mean, you can see it in there. This stuff is crap. It is. It really is. It has good intentions. It does. But I can tell you that it... It is streaky. I tried it just spraying it on my legs. I tried spraying it on a mitt. I tried spraying it on my hand. Nothing. You can, I mean, I could not get like a really nice, even look out of this sunless tanner. Uh, let's see here. Hubby, hubby went to Asia and he brought me back. This is from Sawasu. I love Sawasu, the makeup, the blush. Um, love it. However, this is the first time I ever tried any of the skincare, and he brought me back some skincare. Anyway, this was the Capsulized uh, Ginseng Fortifying Serum. You know, I, went, I used this up. Y'all, this stuff, it was nice. And, okay, I swear, I swear to y'all, if you smell dirt, it smells like pretty dirt. I'm so serious. I, it really does. It smells. It smells just like. I mean, if you if you could put a scent, a pretty scent, to dirt, it smells just like dirt. Very earthy, you know. But anyway, um, this is not something I'm going to be repurchasing. And hubby goes back to Asia. I don't want any more skincare, because because ladies, I am pretty sure I have found the culprit to my dry eyes. And this is also by Sawasu that he brought me back from Asia. And this one right here is going to be the Time Treasure Renovating Eye Cream EX. And, y'all, he paid a fortune for that. I mean, he did. Bless his heart. I mean, he had really good intentions. Um, what I ended up doing was I stopped using this because, I mean, if you, if you watch my one video where I was talking about this, my eyes, they were dry. I mean, 
hurting like at night time before I went to bed and in the morning when I woke up oh my word my eyes were just I mean so dry I would have to just literally squint my way to the bathroom to get some eye drops in my eyes um, I'm pretty sure this is what caused all of that because I have been off of this stuff now for two almost three weeks and my eyes have gotten like so much better so much better and I had even stopped basically stopped my revival lash and my eyelashes went to crap so needless to say I got me some little falsies on today first time I've ever wore false eyelashes on YouTube and anyway I, it is very tricky it is very very tricky trying to get these little things on but I kind of like them I do. I just, I kind of like them. All right, now I want to go ahead and just share with you just a couple little items that I am crazy about. I mean, I'm so, so happy that I found them. So happy to be, you know, using them. One of them is going to be this little beauty blender. This is the odd looking little thing. Oh my word. I love this. I take this, the pointy, air, a little point right here on this little pluff thing, plushy thing. Oh, I love this thing. Anyway, I dip it in my setting powder that I'm going to use for my concealer. And you can get right up there in the little corners. I mean, just all around your eyes. And it just, it just fits just perfect up there in that little, you know, tight little areas. Works beautifully. I love this. Love it. A face cleanser that is definitely going to be reordered whenever I, I get done with it. It's lasted me a while, actually. I got this off of Amazon. It's called uh, Wild Ferns, and it's the Manuka Honey uh, Facial Wash. Oh, this is so good. I love this. It smells like, it just has the most, like, sweet, fresh smell of a honey. It is just, it is beautiful. And it comes out, you know, in like that foam. And I just take just one squirt of the foam um, sometimes I'll mix them with just a little bit of that Tatcha, the rice powder or whatever. Or sometimes I've got a little Tula that I'll mix in. This is always my nighttime cleanse. This is my second cleanse at night. I have been loving this. It is so wonderful. And it's not drying. It doesn't strip your skin. It's got that Manuka honey in it, which Manuka honey is so, so good for our skin. So I'm loving this, loving it. Okay, now a hair product. Oh my word. I have gotten, you know, the Brio Geo line, the shampoo and the conditioner. I like it. I don't love it, but I do like it, okay? But this, I love. Oh, this is so good. This is the Brio Regio. This is the Rosarco. It's the blow dry protectant and heat protectant cream. This is so darn good. Oh, my word. I mean, your hair is just soft and wispy and it's just oh my word this makes a huge huge difference whenever you're blowing your hair you know blowing out your hair and another thing that I noticed with this even like it like lasts like the next day you know like your hair is still really soft and really like shiny and manageable and just I don't know there's just something about this it is so good I love this so yes happy happy to find this one I love to find like a little snack you know a little like a, a snack that's not like real real bad for you you know but it's not the greatest for you either um okay so if you love pizza crust like that you know how you get that thin crust from a pizza oh my i love i love just like that you know that crunchiness to it you know and just the texture of it and just that you know that pizza bread flavor it is just so amazing napa lee's oven baked pizza chips parmesan and romano ladies let me tell you something i've been like a raccoon in a dumpster munching on these these are so so good oh my word they're so good the the chips of them they're really neat um, i'm trying to find you know a one that's not broken up but anyway it's just real light real thin real you know airy and listen that oh it's got beautiful crunch i mean a beautiful crunch to it it's not real salty which is good it's not like you know really salty but it does have, you know, that beautiful flavor of that Romano cheese. Okay, let me give you a little information here. Well, see, it's not real good for you. 
because I know I eat more than 10, 10 chips. <laughs> if you eat 10 of them, it's 130 calories. Grams of fat is 4, no cholesterol, sodium's 210, and diet fi the dietary fiber's 1, sugar's 1, protein's 4. So it's not really, it's, it's not too bad. All right, ladies, that is all that I have got for this video. I just wanted to share my empties and some of the products that I've really been enjoying lately. Let's go ahead and please that algorithm by saying if you are not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to click on that little subscribe button. You're more than welcome to ring on that bell. YouTube is going to notify you each and every time I upload a brand new video. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Also, scroll down and leave me a comment. Ladies, I appreciate each and every one of you so very, very much. And as always, I wish you all a safe and a wonderful day. Bye.